to Exchange for Media. We have with us today the founders of the Chef Crafted Instant uh, Food Brand U, uh, Mr. Varun Kapoor and Mr. Bharat Bhalla. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for having us. Uh, so this brand of yours is about healthy instant food that can be whipped in five minutes. And you started in 2020 with a makeshift uh, R&D facility, and now it has turned into a big uh, lab in Gurgaon. Uh, and congratulations, this is your first brand campaign, and which is which says up no compromise. So what is the inspiration behind it, and what does it mean for you? So thank you. Thank you for having us once again, Aditi. Uh, the idea behind you when it was conceptualized was to uh, bring about a change um, or a revolution, I can say, in the packaged food space. Uh, what we wanted to do was to bring forth products to consumers in a packaged food format that taste as close as possible to freshly prepared food. So while uh, we retain the convenience that is associated with packaged foods, uh, we wanted consumers to not feel guilty while consuming them. And, and to actually enjoy it while consuming them, right? So essentially what we're doing is uh, consumers today uh, with the rising urbanization in this country, uh, we feel uh, they don't want to compromise on, while they are obviously happy to consume packaged foods, they don't want to compromise on the quality or the taste uh, of the food they, that they consume, right? So uh, with you, uh, our concept revolves around no compromise on health, quality, taste, time, or convenience, right? Where time and convenience is always associated with convenient foods. Uh, the other three facets that I kind of spoke about, which is health, because, you know, we don't add any kind of preservatives. We only use kind of natural substances. Quality, the kind of uh, quality of pro uh, products that we provide to the end consumer and the taste being as close as possible to freshly prepared food. Uh, so really, it, it kind of tells on these four or five principles that I just described. Uh, so that's why our entire campaign is based on the premise that young India, aspiring India today should not compromise. Uh, so that's why uh, hashtag up no compromise. That's great. And this is your first campaign and you chose it to do with IPL and Hardik Pandey on board. So what led to this collaboration and how is it going? So, you know, Hardik uh, was a decision that, uh, you know, when Bharat and I first came together to think through, uh, you know, possible celebrities who we could join hands with and, and collaborate, Hardik really stood out uh, as a name for both of us. Uh, he's a youth icon, uh, you know, extremely popular, uh, you know, and has done extremely well over the last few years. So in that sense, from the target group that we as a brand target, I think he, he meets the bill extremely well. Uh, the geographies that we target again uh, he stands out and and you know being a cricketer and cricket because of ipl is now so diverse in its in its viewership including now women audiences coming and watching uh, a cricket so in that sense and this year being a real cricket kind of year with having the the ipl right now and then uh, during the later part of the year you have the one day international world cup which india is hosting uh, you know, so in that sense, uh, to leverage upon that as well so uh, keeping all that and you know actually we were fortunate and blessed that we could actually get Hardik, uh, uh, you know, to kind of partner. And, and that also started off with him trying our products and really being kind of surprised that instant foods or packaged foods can indeed uh, taste as, as close as possible to freshly prepared food. So that helped us kind of stitch this together. Uh, so yes, so it's very, very excited. I think we've uh, landed uh, one of the best celebrities that there is uh, in India today. From a brand fitment perspective also, because, you know, when, when I just spoke about Avno Compromise, I think... Uh, for us, uh, you know, he kind of embodies that sentiment very well of you no know, compromise and being a youth icon himself. I think it'll it'll do very well in terms of the fitment, in terms of uh, you know this campaign being spearheaded by him. Well, congratulations and all the best with that. Uh, my next question is that uh, your brand it vouches for healthy food and instant food. There are many such other brands already in the market. So, what gives you an edge over them? You know, uh, Aditi, when you when you look at ready to eat or packaged foods uh, in totality, not much has changed in the last fifteen to twenty years. Uh, in terms of the technology, in terms of the kind of products that are out there, you obviously have newer brands that have come out. You have uh, sort of older brands launching some of their earlier brands again. 
but but not much has changed in terms of the fundamental quality or technology that is associated with bringing these products to consumers. Um, and a lot of that goes uh, is because of the fact that a lot of the innovation actually happened in the food tech space from the onset of the Swiggies and the Zomatos of the world and uh, the cloud kitchens that kind of came about by virtue of that. Uh, so when when we started looking at this packaged food category, we sensed that this category leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, you know, we are we are sitting in uh, 2022, 2023 now, and uh, there's a lot that can be done to bring the right quality food to consumers. Uh, something that, even though it's packaged, doesn't have any food substitutes. I mean, I'm not even talking about preservatives. I'm talking about the concept of actually giving products to consumers that are that actually contain real food as opposed to using any food substitutes, right? Or any chemicals to that effect. Uh, so if you if you look at that fundamental, uh, there are really there's really nothing that has actually transpired in the last sort of uh, many, many years. Uh, so this is where, you know, uh, with with the kind of advanced food science technology and the chef crafted kind of foods that we've brought to market, I think uh, we're pretty much the only ones who are doing this uh, across cuisines. We're not just doing one particular cuisine. It's not like you're bringing Oriental food to to homes or like Italian food to to consumers. It's 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 pretty much all day meal option, uh, with the same common principle of bringing food in its most natural form, even though it's packaged, right? So this for us uh, is the clear mode, and we will continue to innovate and continue to do more things around this particular mode uh, as we evolve with the brand. Right, and. Uh... Talking about advertising and marketing, what is your like? What budget did you set aside for advertising, and what are the platforms you're looking at to, uh, you know, reach out to the consumers? So, uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a sixty day plan for the time being, uh, and it will be in concurrent on several platforms. Uh, obviously, there's the IPL uh, where we will be, uh, you know, very active uh, during this season. Uh, then across. Uh, you know, meta with Instagram. So we've got some campaigns lined up for that channel as well. Uh, and then Google with YouTube. Uh, you know, so on the online side, uh, it's very active concurrently over the next 45 to 60 days. Uh, you know, this campaign and 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 this, this whole fever of cricket to kind of capture that uh, alongside. And, uh, you know, we are an omni-channel brand. Uh, so in that sense, we will also have campaigns running offline in retail stores. We are in 4,000 retail stores as we speak. Uh, so with the Hartik, uh, uh, you know, advertisements running inside uh, stores as well, uh, including in-app uh, where we sell our products. So whether it's quick commerce or e-commerce, uh, and also very interestingly, we as we sell our products on airlines as well, we are live on two airlines going on to a third airline. So we have a very interesting campaign uh, starting in about a week uh, with an airline, which we will be carried on their boarding passes, uh, and we will be carried on the headrest on every seat. Uh, in the airline, so it's really trying to, you know, in this, it's it's like a uh, in, in this 60 days uh, to kind of really in all the segments that we operate to try and, and and leverage this and amplify this campaign. That's great. And before I let you both go, my last question is: Are there any more products in the pipeline? Currently, you're offering products, uh, mainly noodles and pasta, in different categories. Like you've divided it into breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. So what more products are in the pipeline, brand expansion plans? For us, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of uh, the products that we do revolves around the concept of uh, really two things. If there's something that we believe uh, we can do better than what is available in the market, uh, in, a, in its most natural form, we will attempt it. If we believe that there is something that we could do that solves a consumer pain point, uh, in this particular food category, uh, we will attempt that, uh, you know, we will make an attempt at that as well. So to give you a case in point, uh, we just launched our, uh, you know, our Hakka noodles, uh, which is pretty much the first time that you've made Hakka noodles instant by uh, giving the consumers the ability to have sauce, cut vegetables, you know, a chili oil as well as noodles all in one pack. So all a person needs to do is just boil some water and and like restaurant quality meals are ready in a, in a matter of five minutes, right? So uh, if you really look at it, uh, the idea is to, you know, do things that other people, uh, that people want, but brands or or other kind of 
uh, you know, companies in the food space have not really offered that to consumers. So we we kind of lead that effort. We kind of are the first movers, whether it was with our pasta, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, with our halwas, which come in, uh, you know, gajar ka halwa or amun dal halwa or, or, or our saucy noodles. Uh, so like I said, there, there are more things that we're working on. We have a pipeline of about 10 odd products even now. Uh, we're, we're attempting, attempting something very unique in, in the Indian kind of uh, food category. Uh, something that is loved by all people. So we're trying to make that food instinct. So let's right. see how uh, we probably launched that at the turn of uh, the fall this year. Uh, it everyone coinciding with the World Cup, uh, with the ICC World Cup. So let's see how that goes. Uh, but a but lot of like products in the pipeline, you continue to see uh, us innovating and staying ahead of the curve when it comes to innovating for, for this new India. That's great. Thank you uh, for talking to us, uh, Varun and Bharat. Uh, all the best to you uh, for your journey ahead and with the new brand campaign. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.